hi guys how are you here's maria um i'm a bit sick so you're not gonna see my face today um not even me chomping down what i'm cooking today but i wanted to show you guys since i'm sick and since i love congee the um, asian rice porridge so much i wanted to show you my version how i cook it uh, what you will need usually when you google it and you find recipes they usually say you need a cup of rice and bazillion cups of water so but today we're gonna try a bit something new so we're gonna use a cup of basmati rice and today i want to actually mix in some black rice um i've done um variations of congee with brown rice um yeah you can do whatever you want theoretically basically but i don't have any brown rice here otherwise i would cook brown rice so we're using white rice what you need is toppings toppings so i have here some sliced and diced chicken which i will slice up further later down the track um a green onion mushroom which i will also chop up and fry and then i also like as a topping black and white sesame seeds and some sesame oil and white pepper and there it and all you need is either a pot but i have a rice cooker that has a country function so i will cook it in that one so what you want to do is if you want to mix the congee with some black rice um roughly take three quarters of a cup and top up the rest with some black rice I've never done that before, by the way, so we will see what comes up. I'm very adventurous with food and with rice in general, so... Ooh. So you want to toss it in here. And then you want to wash your rice thoroughly. So once the rice is washed, you take your measurement cup, so the same as you measured the rice, and you basically want to fill up seven cups of water. Um, you need to basically cook the rice completely down. Um, recipes will suggest to you 10 cups of water, but I've done this recipe yesterday where I used six cups or seven cups of water, and it actually got me the perfect consistency. What you also can alternatively do is use chicken stock um, to replace two cups of the water. It gives it a flavor because otherwise the rice will be a bit flat. Now I forgot to count. Three, four, five, six. I do not have chicken stock today, but we will use something else. We got this little pots of vegetable stock um, and I'm just going to use that one. Um, just chuck it in there and yeah. The struggle is real. Ugh. Gee, the struggle is real, real. I'll just check that in yeah so this goes off to my rice cooker now here's my rice cooker close the lid so and as you can see my rice cooker has different functions usually we would just use the rice function but today we're using the congee function and just press it and the last half an hour I'll basically check in the chicken so it can like um, boil with the with the rice and it gives it also a bit of taste.
So now that this is boiling for over an hour, let's have a look. A little look. Ooh. The, the black rice gives it a really nice color. And I think this is a good time to put in the chicken. I mean, I'm not 100% sure um, if this will take two hours or only one and a half hours, but just to be on the safe side and the chicken is done, you obviously wanna make sure this is in. So you just chuck it in here. Here we go. And then you just stir it in. Yeah, I'm a bit sniffy. So, and then you just let it rest or boil to the end, basically. What I have totally forgot to mention is that I like another topping, which is eggs. Um, runny eggs, to be honest. And we're going to actually cook it in my egg cooker. I'm thinking probably what egg cooker who needs that to nowadays but i do i really do need eggs uh, an egg cooker so you get like a little measurement cup and you have to peak the bottom of the egg so this is the top this is the bottom and put it upside down in the egg cooker if you assemble it correctly across this way so if it doesn't fit you know that you didn't do it right and pick another one i'm boiling too because um, my partner is going to have salad for dinner and one is for him one is for me and then the measurement cup has I'm not sure if you can see that it has like measurements on it and then in the bottom it says medium soft and hard boiled so depending i'm not 100 percent sure what the numbers mean so it's like one two three if it means three eggs one egg because why but why would one egg have more water than three eggs anyway so we're going to fill this up because i like them runny so we'll cook it medium so you just put the water in here close it off with the lid and here's an on button and the egg cooker will actually make noise once it's cooked um, or the egg is ready 